Now let's have a little test with Webpack just to explore a minimal functionalities on how to put it in actions. So our starting point is to create some minimal file, an index file, HTML file, a config.js file, and that's it. So let's go ahead and do a touch. I will do index.html and I will do webpack.config and I'll explain this later. So config.js, I will do index.js and I will do, for example, hello.js. Okay, everything went well. I have all my files right here. Now we need to install Webpack. So to have Webpack, to use Webpack, you must have your Node environment set up correctly. You simply have to go to node.com and download your dependencies, your actually your current version, your the version that it has it that is adequate to your environment. If you are Linux or any other machine, then everything is fine. Every and everything is simple. I won't show you because it's really simple. And after that, just have to make sure that you have npm and this uh, would be normal. So don't really bother yourself. And in my case, I'm running um, node-v, I'm running the version 10, and npm-v, it's the 6.13.4. Then everything is fine. Now we could, first of all, do an npm init, and I will add a y to speed up the process, and it will create me a package.json that will containing information about my project, and it will have a dependency. So actually, by default, you won't have this Webpack CLI installed, but because I was playing around with this project before recording, I did speed up the process by installing Webpack and Webpack CLI just to gain some some seconds in the, the time of the video. So normally it will be like this and you won't see any of these dependencies right there. And the next step for you is to do npm a webpack, webpack and also webpack dash CLI. So this will install two dependencies right here. And don't forget to add a, a dash D here that they get saved into the dev dependencies. So everything should be fine. Now let's hit enter and it will download them, install them and place them into this dev dependencies object. Okay. So as I said, I won't waste time with this. I will cut it and I will manually update this despite it's it's not the best way but anyway we're just uh, doing an example right here okay so Webpack installed and Webpack CLI are installed too then a quick fix that you may run into trouble with local dependencies or global dependencies I do recommend that you do install a dash G so this will install Webpack and Webpack CLI globally into your machine to avoid any problem with local and global dependencies. Okay, done with that. Now let's carry in with our example. Now let's go ahead and open hello.js. So this hello.js, I will be simply placing a function inside it. So I will do module.export and I will say this is, will be a hello and it will take an, uh, a row function that it will simply do alert, <coughs> sorry, hello world very minimal and simple example that's it we can close it now and let's move back to index and this index.js will load that hello world so i will do import hello or hello whatever from js hello okay simple as that we could even do this if you'd like to pick what to call exactly and I'll be executing that hello method okay just to make sure control click and you'll be loaded to this source folder of that function everything is fine with this function now we could move back to webpack.json and right here some funny stuff will be taking place so right here I need to have a tool that allow me to access directories into my machine and this tool is simply the path module of node so I do const path equal to require path simple as that and I would like to add a bit of commenting okay and the next thing is to define settings for our web pack so again I'll be using the module.exports and it's like an object this object have two entries 
or two parameters and the first one will be the entry so what is the entry file for our script so the entry file in my case will be index.js and right here pay attention and make sure to add a dot slash to avoid error or loading the file and the next parameter will be the output so where to put that source code that will be generated from this index and its dependencies if you do remember in the presentation we did say that we have assets and dependencies and dependencies here is the hello okay so all will be bundled into a single file and the single file must be placed under the path and this path will be the the dist folder so i will do uh resolve and their name and i'll be defining the name of the folder so here it will be dist and finally i have to say what is the name of the file so file name will be dist or bundle.js okay very simple and minimalistic now just one more step to finish we have to add some html here tac 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 and let's add a lorem for 15 character Okay, let's get rid of this. Oops, I have to make this bigger just to hide the console. And right here, somewhere around the body, I will do a script. Okay, and I'll be calling a virtual file that does not exist yet, but it would be there for in a moment. It will be bundle.js. Okay, now let's go ahead and open this file in the browser. We do see nothing other than the ugly HTML CSS. Now it's time to call Mr. Webpack to do his missions and in the root of your application where the Webpack config is located, do Webpack, simple as that. Give it a second, then we have some green colors meaning that everything went well. Now let's do refresh this page and let's see what happened. We have hello world that is coming from this hello. Um, let's open that again that's coming from here and is absorbed let's say and call it inside the index and webpack did put everything together that we can get that message but here also i would like to show you one thing we have a new folder as i said the virtual folder if you do remember and we have a bundle of gs that containing a code that's not readable for humans but it's uh compiled and it's uh compatible with the previous and old browsers ecmas ecma 5 so webpack did his mission correctly now let's go ahead back to our theme development and see how webpack is doing his mission with the prestashop theme and dependencies and all that kind of stuff 